Red Shark IBC 2025 coverage is sponsored by... No, there is one more new product I want to talk to you about today, and that is Premiere on iPhone. Um, whether you're a professional video editor, whether you're a content creator, we're all making stuff on the go now. The demand for video is outrageous, and we are all making it everywhere on any surface we can get our hands on. So, you know, we worked for years with the video community, with the content creator community, to build a, a best-in-class mobile video editor that takes what makes Premiere Premiere and putting it on iPhone. So I'm really thrilled to show you Premiere on iPhone. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up my phone here. So this is a pre-release version of Premiere on iPhone. You can order it now and you can pre-order it on the App Store. When I open up the app, I can see all of my projects right here. I'm gonna open up an Instagram Reel that I actually made in the airport and on the airplane on the way to IBC this year. So first thing you might notice is that it's a multi-track timeline. And if I scrub in here, you might notice we have audio waveforms. We have real audio waveforms so you can perfect the cut and the flow of your edit. I have captions, I have titling, I have some animations, every single thing I need to edit on my phone. And when I'm talking about craft precision editing, I can go ahead and tweak, move this clip around. I can trim forwards and backwards. If I want to, I can pop this clip right over my captions. If I want to zoom back out, I can adjust how large or how tiny I want my timeline to be. And it's also chock full of generative effects. I can add audio fades. I have the same exact enhanced speech that I have in Premiere Pro. I can add music like I did right here. Uh, you can add your own voiceovers. There's also a ton of really amazing generative capabilities here. If I click on video, music and audio here, I can record a voiceover, I can add my own sound effects with a built-in library of sound effects from Adobe Stock. I can add a ton of videos from Adobe Stock. I can also generate my own sound effects. So let's try this out in real time right now. I'm gonna click on generate sound effects. I'm going to say a, a lion roaring. And now I'm gonna perform the sound. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna record this. Roar! All right, so let's let's play that back. I'm gonna hold the phone up so you can hear it. Okay, so let's generate that. I don't know what a lion is doing on an airplane, but it's better than snakes, I guess, right? We don't want snakes or lions on the airplanes. So it's generating the sound effect right now. We're it's convention center Wi-Fi, so we're gonna give this a minute to go up and down. Oh, it's already done. Forget about it, it's already done. It went a lot faster than I thought. Okay, let's play back the first version right here. Play back the second one. I can barely hear it myself here on my, on my phone right here. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? So imagine doing that for Foley work and lining it up with the exact cut or exact thing that's going on. I can also generate video. I can throw an image in here and turn it into video. I can recrop things. I can work in 16 by nine vertical, square, um, three by two, any, any social aspect ratio you want. And then I can either choose to export the video directly to share to social media, or I can send it to desktop. We're gonna be able to take the mobile timeline, send it to Premiere on desktop, and then when you open up Premiere, it's gonna tell you, hey, you got a mobile project waiting for you. you open that thing up, everything's aligned right there where you left it, and you can keep working for extra precision that you can only get on desktop. So that is Premiere on iPhone. It is coming very, very soon. Uh, we want you to test it out. We're gonna be iterating and developing and shipping new features in real time very, very quickly uh, once we get it out there. So pre-order Premiere on iPhone now on the App Store and also know Android users, we are working on it. Uh, we got a team of people building iPhone on Android and that will also be available soon in the near future. Well. That's all the news we have here at IBC 2025 here at the Adobe booth. Um, check out Frame.io. Check out a lot of the other cool stuff we have going on here. Um, my name is Jason from the Premiere team, and I will catch you guys later.